Hey guys, it's Eagle Design It's Me. Welcome back to Design It's Me Daily, where we design our own clothes, we design our own business, and we design our own lives. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to draft a pattern using this basic t-shirt in order to create this super cute denim jacket. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, and I hope you guys enjoy. So of course I am starting with a couple of essential tools. I have my t-shirt, I have my paper, I have my graph ruler, my curve ruler, my pencil and my scissors. I'm just opening out my t-shirt and I'm folding the hem of my t-shirt up to where I want my jacket to stop. And then I'm going to fold it at the center front because we only really need half of this t-shirt because we are going to uh, mirror our pattern in order to have a front piece as well as a back piece. I'm just folding that a little bit more because I really want my jacket to be super super cropped and then I'm going to grab my pencil and we are just going to trace around the entire t-shirt excluding the sleeve. So I'm just going to place the major points at the hem on the center front and the center front at the neckline, around the neckline, down to the uh, shoulder, around the armhole, under the armhole and then down to the side seam. And then, now pay attention to this part guys, even though we are not seeing where the front neckline is curved, we are going to still uh, try to plug those points as well. So, go ahead and grab your ruler like I'm doing here. And usually when you are creating a pattern from ready-made clothes, your lines aren't always going to be super super straight. So it's really important to just map out your major points and then use the proper tools in order to uh, maintain nice straight lines and nice accurate measurements. So I'm just folding along the center front line now and that is so that we can mirror our pattern in order to have um, or in order to create a back pattern as well. Now before I do any cutting I am going to add allowance to my entire pattern and because this is a denim jacket I am adding 5 eighths of an inch allowance along the entire thing and 3 eighths of an inch allowance along the neckline. I'm just opening out my pattern piece and as you can see we now have a front pattern as well as a back pattern. I'm just placing all of the uh, major lines and the allowance that we would have just placed on the front. I'm just putting it at the back. And I'm just moving up to the neckline. I'm adding the 3 8 of an inch allowance to the front of that neckline. Because as you can see, the front and the back is different. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess so that you can clearly see which side is the front and which side is the back. I'm also going to add my 3 8 of an inch allowance to the back as well. Alright, so we're just going to... Uh, place that allowance line as it's already included we have our front we have our back excellent so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place the major details onto my pattern so as you all know a basic denim jacket always has that yoke at the front I mean it has the yoke at the back as well but for this particular design I am not gonna put the yoke at the back only at the front I'm also going to map out where I want that uh, lovely uh, pocket flap to be and you can literally put as many details as possible on your pattern exactly how you visualize your design to look you're going to want all of the details to mirror onto your pattern 
So I'm placing some seam lines and wherever I put seam lines, I am going to put notches as well, just so that I know exactly where those passing pieces are supposed to line up. Once that is done, I'm just going to cut along the center front so that I have my front piece as well as my back piece. And I'm just going to grab the t-shirt again so that we can create a sleeve pattern. So exactly as I'm doing, I just laid my t-shirt nice and flat. I lined up the sleeve along the fold of the paper because my paper is currently folded. And I'm just tracing along that um, whole curve. I'm going to grab the ruler just to ensure that my line is nice and accurate. And once that is done, I'm just going to map out the length of my sleeve because even though we are using a short sleeve uh, t-shirt, our denim jacket is going to have a very, very long sleeve. So, just determine the length that you want your sleeve to be. I'm just using the length of my ruler, which is 24 inches, which is perfect for the length of my arm. And I'm just going to measure the circumference of my wrist like a comfortable circumference that I would like my sleeves to finish. Just go ahead and grab your measuring tape like I am doing here and wrap it around your wrist. Make sure it's a comfortable loop and whatever that measurement is, you're just going to divide it in two because remember your paper is folded and you're going to transfer that measurement onto your paper. Now I'm just going to connect that point to my um, hole in order to finish off the sleeve I'm gonna add some allowance along the entire thing I could have gotten away with adding half inch allowance for this because I did use a front seam in order to construct this sleeve however um, I still added my 5 eighths of an inch because I mean it's denim you might as well have more than less so it was fine so I'm just going to trim around my sleeve pattern and when we open out our page we're going to have a perfectly symmetric sleeve just like this one. Alright so that is more or less it for this video guys. We have all of our major pattern pieces in the other part of this video where I actually construct our lovely upcycled denim jacket you guys will see me draft a custom color so be sure to stay tuned for that and I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video and you are interested in seeing how I incorporated our lovely well pocket from part one of this video into our uh, cropped denim upcycle jacket in part two of the video, then definitely stay tuned. Be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you never miss an upload. And of course, I will see you guys in my next one. Oh, we fell apart